I'm with Quinn Wickers, uh, the Kempville 73s, uh, f five years, I guess technically four full years. Uh, how's it been? It's been a great four years. Uh, I think I've learned a lot over the years. Um, I've had a lot of great coaching with uh, Ron Tugnut and Kenny, uh, Kenny Fleck being my D coach. And uh, I think it's really prepared me for the next step. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun. How's your game particularly changed over the years? Um, I think I started off as more of kind of a defensive defenseman, just kind of uh, introducing myself to the league, just kind of trying to play a steady game. But over the years, I think I've uh, picked up my offense a lot. And uh, I think I've really developed in that aspect. And uh, that's something I continue to try and work on every practice and game. So uh, hopefully that can continue to improve and that I'll be ready for the next step. Yeah, you're certainly one of the uh, the pillars on the back end with the 73s. And I know one of the other things Ron is very proud of is thinking about his players and less movement, uh, the better. And I yeah. guess as a result, you've been certainly one of the bene beneficiaries of that and anchoring that 73 defense. Uh, the series with the Brockville Braves to date, uh, I guess you guys are looking for your first victory. Yeah. Yeah, they're always a tough team to play against. Um, I know coming into this rink, this is probably my favorite rink to play in in the league. Um, the atmosphere is always really good. It, it feels like uh, like almost an OHL atmosphere almost, and uh, they're always a tough team to play against. They got a lot of skilled forwards and some uh, big physical D on the back end. So uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's game, and hopefully we can get the win. How do you uh, do? You prepare any differently for these guys, or do you stick to your normal game plan? Uh, I just try and stick to my normal game plan. I think uh, everyone on our team just has certain routines that they go through, and uh, I think it's just try and uh, face every game like it's the same, and uh, you know, hopefully in the end we get the win. If we just uh, roll back the tape bit here on the first half of the schedule, you guys seem to come out of the blocks pretty strong, and I guess different teams have rough months, but December was uh, kind of a rough month for you guys. Is there any particular reason? Was it injuries? or it's, uh, I mean, it's a long season. Yeah, I think uh, we had a lot of injuries in that time. I think we had Jake Cadet hurt, Adam Alavi. I think Matt Tugnow was just coming back from injury. And uh, also me, Owen, and uh, Bobby Dow were all gone at Team Candy East. So uh, I think that kind of hurt us a little bit. But now we're starting to get all our guys back together. And we also just made a couple trades. So hopefully that should help. And uh, I think we'll have a strong finish to the season. Candy East, what a special experience that must have been, Quinn. Yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, my second year being able to represent my country. And there's honestly no better feeling than being able to put the jersey over your head. And it, there's honestly no better experience that I could have dreamed of. And I mean, you guys did well. You made it to the final. Yeah. Uh, darn old USA, yeah. I guess a 4 nothing yeah. game. What was that game like? Uh, were they were obviously that good. Yeah, they're, they're an amazing team. Um, they have a lot of skilled players coming from the USHL. And uh, we knew coming in it was going to be a very tough game to, to try and beat them. But... Uh, it was it was definitely nerve wracking. We were on TSN, and uh, but it was a lot of fun. The crowd was amazing. Um, it was super loud in the in the stands the whole game. So uh, it was definitely the coolest experience I've ever had in hockey, and something I'll always remember for the rest of my life. And although we didn't win gold, I still won silver. So uh, it's definitely something I'll be able to you know tell my kids when I'm older. So it was good. Four years and a bit of hard work in Kempville pays off with an NCAA uh, Division One commit to Mercyhurst. Uh, what a great feeling. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm really excited to go to uh, Mercyhurst University next year. I know that uh, the coaching staff is really excited as well, and I know that uh, I'll be able to really develop there. Um, they just picked up a new coach who played a bunch of years in the AHL and a couple games in the NHL. So. Uh, he was also a defenseman, so I know I'll be able to really work with him and kind of develop my game and hopefully even go uh, higher up to the next level. Thanks for taking the time to do this. Best wishes moving forward. Thanks for having me. Quinn Wickers of the Kempville 73s.